We're going to do a quick problem concerning moments, and we're going to solve this using our two methods. We're going to use scalar analysis for one method, and we're also going to use vector analysis. And we're going to compare the answers of those two uh, to make sure that they line up. So let's move on to this quick example here. We have this, um, if you want to think of it as this L-shaped pipe, whatever you want to think of it as, we have 50 newtons down here being applied, and that's 0.5 meters away here and 1.2 meters away here. So let's first start out with our scalar analysis. Okay, so if we're trying to find the moment about O, which is over here, so the moment about O is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance, right? So the force is uh, 50, right? 50 newtons. And the perpendicular distance is 0.5 meters here. So 50 times 0.5, and we need to make sure that uh, we're getting our sign convention correct, right? Counterclockwise is positive. This is going to be going in the opposite direction here. So we need to throw a negative sign out front. Uh, so we have 50 times 0.5, which comes out to be negative 25 Newton meters. So uh, that is equal to 25 Newton meters. Uh, and that is clockwise. So that's clockwise there. So that is our answer using the scalar analysis. Now let's go on and do it by doing the vector analysis, all right? So the moment about O, see if I can get this to move down just a hair. The moment about O for vector analysis. Okay, so the moment about O, and this is going to be a vector, we have R cross F. Okay, R cross F. Now, our R vector, remember, our R vector is the vector from the place we're taking the moment about to the place where the force is applied. So, our R vector right to there, um, so our R vector is there, and we have our F vector. So let's write these both in vector notation, or Cartesian coordinate notation. Uh, so R, we have equal to, well, it's if this is our X, Y axis here, let's go back up, so we can see it, X, Y axis here. So in the X direction, right, we it would be 1.2, so we have 1.2 I, and then in the J direction or the Y direction, we have negative here, and that's negative 0.5 in the J direction. All right, and now let's write our force vector. Our force vector is pointed directly in the negative X direction. So with that, we have uh, negative 50 I plus zero J, okay? Now let's perform the cross product here, R cross F. And if we do that, I'm just gonna write our R vector here and our F vector. And we'll have I and J, we'll use kind of the table method here. So we have 1.2 and negative 0.5 and negative 50 and zero. So the moment around O, and this is gonna be in the K direction. This is gonna be in the K direction. So we have 1.2 times zero, which is zero. So zero minus negative 50 times negative 0.5. and that is in the k direction, that comes out to be negative 25 Newton meters in the k direction. So if we were to draw 
the z direction here, right? That's coming out at us. So that the z direction is coming right out at us. And using our right hand rule of if our, we put our thumb in the z direction and curling our hands around, that would be the positive direction. This is opposite to that. So that is equal to 25 Newton meters clockwise. Okay. So using these two methods, whether it's scalar or the vector analysis, we get the exact same answer, which that's what it should be.